Somalia Air Nozar. Welcome to this week's episode of WGTV. Thank you so much for joining me. I thought with all of the world coming here to Canada to Whistler and Vancouver for the Olympic Games, it'd be fun to sort of continue on the Canadian momentum, if we will, and talk a little bit about our Canadian ice wine. So I want to share with you a little bit about ice wine because a lot of people have heard about it. It's definitely a wine style that is synonymous with fine wines here in Canada. So I thought I would share a little bit of information for you. Now, what ice wine is, and there's actually some legal sort of classifications that have to go along with wine style that takes this term of ice wine. What happens is the grapes actually have to stay on the vine. So once in the fall, you've picked all your grapes, then you leave some grapes on here. And what you're waiting for is for them to freeze. Now for a wine to be called ice wine here in Canada, you have to make it to a temperature of minus 10 degrees Celsius. If the temperature doesn't get that cold, you can call it a late harvest wine, but you're not allowed to call ice wine, a wine called ice wine unless the temperature has reached minus 10 degrees. So this is important. Normally what that means is that you're gonna pick at night, it's going to be cold, and the grapes, what happens, grapes are 85% water. So when they freeze, that water freezes inside of them and it leaves behind the rich, beautiful sugar that we enjoy in these wines. Why ice wines are so expensive, which is another question I'll get asked an awful lot, is because of the, the amount of sugar in each grape. If 85% of a grape is water, that sugar is not a very high amount. And so when we do the crushing, we get a very little bit of juice out of frozen grapes. So there's a lot of work. Everything has to be done by hand in regards to picking. So lots and lots of work goes into these beautiful bottles. Now when you're drinking ice wine, a lot of people say, oh, they're so sweet. And it's true that that's what we're enjoying them for. So you just need a little bit. Now the wine I actually have here is uh, an ice wine made from the Tempranillo grape, which is actually a Spanish grape. This is a, a new uh, wine by In and Skill, and it's not available to everybody else um, on the shelves yet, but it's been sent to me. But it shows you that you can make ice wine from different grapes. You will also see them made from Vidal and Riesling. Um, you can also see from Cabernet Franc. So we have both white and black grape ice wines. A lot of times the red or black grapes will come as this beautiful sort of pink color of the bottle and they'll have flavors of cherries and strawberries. So very fabulous when you're pairing with desserts of chocolate or berry styles. The other ice wines that are more typical in regards to Riesling and Vidal are basically, you're gonna have flavors of honeys and apricots and peaches and as they age, those will become richer. But if you're worried about how sweet they are, you can chill an ice wine. So to serve ice wine, you have a couple of options here. And you're going to be the judge. You're going to do how you enjoy it the best. Some people like to serve it at room temperature. They find that's where it's most expressive and it's delicious on the nose and on the palate. Other people like to chill a little bit. When you chill an ice wine, you'll help bring the acidity up a little bit, meaning that mouth-watering sensation. So if you're worried about how sweet it is by chilling it, you can sort of bring balance to the wine by the acidity, giving a bit of a rise because it's been chilled. But you're going to play. There's no right or wrong. You play with how you enjoy it the best way. But definitely give them a, a chance. Enjoy them. It's definitely a bottle you sit and have great conversation with. So while if you're visiting Canada, definitely I suggest you, you sample some of our amazing ice wines here. And if you're from Canada and haven't given them a go for a while, I suggest you pick up a bottle, sit around with some great friends, and discuss all the work that went into making this beautiful bottle of wine. So I look forward to seeing you next week. We're going to be traveling for the next three weeks. You're going to find us in Seattle and San Francisco and Toronto. So the next few episodes of WGTV will be all over the place. So who knows what we're talking about next week. Maybe restaurants, wine, you'll see lots of fun stuff coming. So enjoy your week. Try some great ice wine this weekend, and I'll see you all soon. Cheers, everybody.